Select a mode. Yeah, um, hello again. I'm just me again, and uh, this, get, this time we are going to, to play Sonic and All Star Racing Transformed, another racing game which is actually basically, uh, I mean, it's not a prequel, but it's basically the previous the game that came just before King Sonic Racing. And it's much, much more optimized than compared to the previous one. So we will basically go into the uh, World Tour, which Select is basically the story mode. mode of this game. This game has actually not really a story mode, so world tour. the World Select Tour is basically tour. a collection of events you need to complete in order to advance and unlock stuff in this game. Because in this game you can actually unlock cars, uh, mods, trucks and stuff like that uh, going through uh, this mode. Um, this game has way less RNG than the previous one because some events are going to be normal races, so of course the AI will still be there, but other races are other events are going to be basically events in which the AI is not involved at all. So we will just uh, go through it and I will show you what we will see. So as you can see basically uh, this uh, story mode works with stars. You can get stars by completing the events, and you actually need to have 95 stars at the end of the run in order to complete it. In order to do that, we actually do every race, every event in A class, race. the difficulty level, which is the highest difficulty level we can reach at the beginning of the game. There is actually an expert difficulty level, but it must be unlocked first and class. it's much much uh, a pro mode for, uh, for whatever reason it's much faster and much harder. Uh, we are going to use Metal Sonic because Metal Sonic is a DLC character but it's allowed in the speedruns because the DLC uh, got integrated into the main game a couple of years ago so it's a, it's a character that you will find in the game if you buy it now, uh, no matter what. And he's the Metal only character Sonic. that, being a DLC character, has all the mods unlocked from the beginning. And that's actually something that we really want because Metal we are going to use the console mod. Because as you, as you can see here, it has the highest speed and the highest boost in the game. And as always, boost is really, really important in this game. So I think we are ready. Equinox, are you here? Are you here? Yes. I'm okay. Ready. Equinox is actually the world record holder for this category, so he is much more knowledgeable than me uh, for this game, the physics of this game. So. Hello, hello. Yeah. Uh, with Metal Sonic being max level, you also save time in between level up transitions for every character, which every character starts up being level one. Oh, so yeah. with Metal Sonic being level max, you don't have to wait for the level of progression for the level up bar or even for when the level of bar maxes out and you have to level up. Yeah, you save true. a whole bunch of time not even going through none of those transitions on the locking mods and whatnot. You can just play the world tour straight yeah, forward. Also, you can see those stats, the 5115 stats. These are probably the best stats in the, in the entire game. So Metal Sonic is a really, really good choice for this category. In Definitely. general, for the game, so yeah. By the way, uh, I think we are ready, so uh, we are gonna start in five seconds. So, five, four, three, two, one, go! Genesis mod. Get ready! Three, two, so the boost starts. The race is in this pretty straightforward. Yeah. Boost start works exactly the same way as in TSR, but it's actually more in way easier to move for whatever reason. There's just three different vehicle forms to worry about, unlike TSR. Well, yeah, no, there's a, a car oh, form, okay. a boat <laughs> form, and a plane <laughs> form. That which every transition changing can transform. The, the start was so hard to I'm so nervous right now. 
I, oh my god, where are you okay. at? I just have to go see that AI. Yeah, so again, you can reach up to a level 3 boost. And this game is actually nice enough to tell you when you are going to reach a level 3. Yeah, and TSR is just a, a color change. Yeah. In this game, doing drifts alongside tricks can save you three rolls, a no triple unique or whatnot. You'll still get a level three upon landing, and you'll still be able to charge your uh, incoming drift charge. Oh my god, I finish. <laughs> this is so horrible. These ocean movies reset worthy. <laughs> I'm just so nervous for the views, TSR run. Awesome. I just lost 7 seconds of this track just because of the item. But that's the way. Okay. We are going to skip the second event because we don't need it. And we are going through a drift challenge. So drift challenge are basically easy in A class, they will be get they will would be very hard in S class by the way. So you basically have to drift to those gates and inside those red areas they will become green when you drift inside that. You will accumulate time bonus. That's useful because it will increase your time that you have because this event is time based. Based on the difficulty of the events is how many checkpoints there are to checkpoint. Yeah, the checkpoints are actually not really important because the game doesn't actually um, consider the checkpoints in order to, uh, in order to provide to flag the completion of the event for some reason. Oh yeah, that's true. Going over multiple boost pads during these challenges is very convenient as well. Getting multiple boosts, yeah. boost levels apart from the complete. As you just saw there, thank you for the first one. By the way, uh, the AI in this game can be sometimes difficult to deal with, sometimes it's not. This is an A class which is not the hardest difficulty, so the AI is usually manageable. But sometimes S -class. they can be 100% snipers though, so just have to be wary. Yeah. Oh my god, the Super Globe is a really appreciated item. So, in this game, unless, uh, unlike previous one has a really nice uh, way to protect yourself from the enemies uh, from the attacks from your opponents which is basically a glove. There, there are basically two versions of the glove the standard glove and the super glove the standard glove only protects you from a single attack the super glove is basically an enhanced version we basically block everything for a certain amount of time. Isn't it about 20 seconds? No. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, something like that. 20 or 25. If you have a regular glove while your super glove is out, you can reset the duration of the super glove. Which oh, yeah. becomes quite useful in events such as traffic attack that will be coming up. Okay, that was so horrible. The collision there is... Nice I have another block, which is nice. So you can see here that I'm not uh, drifting while coming off every round like I was doing in this round. And that's because uh, in card form is sometimes, sometimes worth it. In all form is absolutely not worth it. 
<laughs> There's an awkward mechanic with this game called angled rolling, where in car and boat form were more prevalent in boat form. It's such as it's such as a form to retain momentum. While say when you're drifting, when you're drifting, uh, going off a of ramp or such, and not drifting, when you're not drifting, going off a of ramp, that's called angled rolling. So you'll angle yourself to go to where you want to go, and for some reason, the game just treats as if. Uh, she says that you have increased momentum the entire time. So we're taking advantage of it there going up the going up the ramp without drifting. Do four rolls and then two flips and you can angle yourself perfectly for increased momentum. You get more distance too for some reason. I'm not sure why. It's just oh. I mean the main point in this game is that uh, the boost mechanics uh, works completely different in each form. So if you are in bot form, if you are in car form, you are, if you are in pain form, it's going to be completely different. The boost works in a completely different way. By the way, we are in the first versus stage, and in normally speaking, this is the first heavy reset point of this game. Versus stage works this way. Basically. There are three opponents in this case. If you outrun them, or if you are ahead of them when the timer reaches zero, you will basically win against them. Of course, we don't want to wait wait too much. We don't want to let the timer reach zero. We want to uh, outrun them. When the character icon flashes from being ahead of the opponent for an extended amount of time, that's how you know the next round is going to be good. Okay, this was very, very fast. Nice. Okay, that was very very nice, and very very fast to be honest. So the next event is going to be a boost challenge, so no AI involved. Genesis mod. No RNG, just skill. Get ready. So this Only kind of event works three, this way. Two, so you basically have one, a timer. Go. If you let the timer reach zero, you will automatically lose. So your main objective is to boost because uh, as long as you chain boost, the timer is gonna stop. As long as you're boosting. Whether it be from a drift boost, from a boost pad boost, any form of boosting will stop the time. Yeah. Even the transform ring, because I didn't see that, but I didn't say that, but uh, each, every time you transform your card to different form, you're actually getting um, 0 0.5 seconds boost, or very, very small boost. But it's still a boost, so the game will consider that. It's actually useful for something like invading some drones or stuff like that. Checkpoint. So reaching level 6 here is much more easier than it is in the SR. It's much easier to obtain. Uh, yeah, that's true. Because it, it's much easier to get a high level boost anyway. Yeah. Okay. So you see sometimes just avoiding some boost pads. And that's because the boost in this game basically caps your speed. So if you go from a high level boost to a lower level boost, sometimes you are just going to slow down 
Checkpoint! Finish! Event complete! Okay, it's okay. Location unlocked. Okay, Starry Speedway. This is very, very tricky because uh, this trap has a um, super pickup, how this game wants to call them, which is basically a special item, uh, which in this case is, is a triple boost. Of course, we want that. But getting that in A class is kind of hard. And it also requires you to get to first place by the end of that one. Oh god, okay. There's a that lift was... that has a time roll based on the position you're in. Because of this well. Well. <laughs> This is going very, very badly today. But the AI is very aggressive today, I don't know why. Oh, they shot one off. I don't know why, they're very very aggressive. They are usually much more lenient than that. Yeah. And then you're just unlucky. I will, I will not get the triple boost here because I, I don't have, uh, I didn't get it in that one. So it's basically impossible to get it again in, in a class at least. Yeah, as you can see, the lift to the right has already started to rise. Yeah. So the flight mechanic has uh, two really, really uh, good mechanics, which are basically the risk boosting and the side rolling. Uh, and the side rolling while boosting because it's actually your distance. Uh, when you risk boost, the risk boost doesn't actually release until you stop doing a stunt in a certain direction. So if you keep rolling, rolling, rolling after risk boosting from an obstacle or whatnot, you will not risk boost until the rolls have stopped. So you can reserve them for later cases. Yeah, you can actually basically chain different risk boosts together, which the game calls danger boost, and sometimes uh, you can chain three of them together, which is a reckless boost. But it, it's usually not worth like that. It's extremely hard and basically there is no, no real advantage to do that. Go for the bragging right. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, that's only for the achievement. Yeah. Because there is actually an achievement. Like that. Double roll! Double split! Congratulations! First place! Event complete! Stickers unlocked! And all the tricks that you see here doing, they look sometimes easier than Select they actually the are because most of the tricks here are extremely, extremely hard. Frozen Valley! I agree, so personally. Yeah. Metal I mean, Sonic. this game has Genesis a very, very locked. steep um, learning curve. You need. I mean, I mean, I have something like 800 hours in this game. You probably have way more. I think I have about 2,000 ish. It's a quite a bit of a while. Very, very Yeah. So we want to be very wary of the AI today because they are not behaving nice. I didn't get uh, the ball, which is a shame. I 
and they are using drones, so they are really not behaving nice though. <laughs> when drones are uh, coming to your way, as long as you boost when they're getting ready to approach you, when the icon for them starts flashing and you can boost into uh, that's when you can evade them. Or when you use an item such as used previously before, which you can just destroy them. I, I want to get the blood now because I'm pretty sure that he is with the AI is really yeah. not nice to it, so I need to take the for sure. Just so, so. Fun fact, this track is really, really uh, CPU intensive. It's the only track in which some people can actually get some lag. Even if the game doesn't actually need much resources on your CPU. Oh, okay. Let's stop there. Set the duration. There it goes. Yeah, I told you they would take like, these by much up here. By the way, the races are fine. Because usually, you can be somewhat consistent with those. The next event is going to be much more difficult. A class. Oh boy. Yeah. So this is a traffic attack event. Um, they are also in the SR. You basically have to drive and avoid all the cars here. Three cars uh, set uh, follow a set pattern. Yellow cars will go left and right, and blue cars will actually follow you. The cars will. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> the yellow card will go left and right. That's such a bad day out. The blue cards will fall, so you have to, to be really, really wary of the blue cards. Or the cop cards. So just slowly try to creep up on me. Okay, rough start, but the rest is going nice. basically three different traffic attacks that we do between this run and each of them has some different moves. So this one has basically no items. The second one, okay. the second one has items and the third one also has items but um, the rules are a little bit different. But we will talk about that later. So this is a boost challenge that is similar to the to the one we just did in Roulette Road. But this track is way faster than Roulette Road. <laughs> For sure. Transform boost. 
this track alone is probably one of the most technical in the entire game. Yeah, this track is very valid, but we will not be very valid in this track. So, yeah. You can do a triple unique there, but it's more very very easy to make us, so I will not attempt it. Simply based on the difficulty. Higher difficulty mean higher base speed. Yeah, so you can get so fast that you basically skip the entire water section there. It's clearly something that was not intended by the developers. I don't think they really thought about the possibility of getting so fast in the section. Definitely not. Okay, so this is the first ring race in this one. They're quite fun, to be honest. Sometimes I like to do them casually. You're basically in plain form, and you basically have full low at second half. Very easy. Risk boosting is very useful for ring races. Anything that is considered an object as a form of collision will be risk boosted. Yeah, everything that has collision, you can basically risk boost of, uh, of anything. Yeah, you can even risk boost against uh, invisible walls. That's ridiculous. Risk boost. Risk boost. Checkpoint. Risk boost. In ring race, you can skip a few rings. You just have to be careful on which rings you decide to skip as you lose time based on every ring race. Yeah, it's actually. And it also uses the timer to get a boost. It's actually probably worth it in Dragon Canyon. But usually, you don't want to skip the rings. Because skipping the rings resets uh, a timer that automatically gives you a boost item. Because in a uh, ring race, you can basically get um, an item boost. Location uh, unlocked. A boost item every time you cross five rings. But that timer resets if you miss one of those rings. Race. A class. Metal Sonic. Genesis This is another very very fun race. <laughs> Very, very fast. Oh, yes. Get ready. Shots. Yeah. Three, also, I'm sorry two, because this track one, is going to kill the big rate. Because the floor here at the beginning is something that the encoder doesn't like. Ah, oh, okay, I can the double stun. Glove. I also have a glove, which is nice. Okay, you see here, boost chaining is very, very important. Yes, what we saw there previously was an intentional stunt fail just to gain more distance. You don't have to entirely get stunts everywhere you go. You can do it. In, you can do them intentionally to fail them, not receive a boost. However, you can still retain the drift charge that you were trying to acquire. 
Yeah. So using that for distance meeting, it's useful in certain cases. Oh yeah. This is very very important in S class. In A class it's less important. Because a level one boost in A class is actually worth something. But in S class a level one boost is actually slower than the base speed for some reason. So yeah, in A class it's worth it. Except in some tracks, like Temple Travel. Because you're the going down with the so yeah. But we will be doing Temple Travel again for the battle race, so we show that. So you actually want to keep this level 3 boost because you want to use it in the water section because it makes the waterfall so much faster. But the difference is three. We will revisit this track also in a sprint event that we so we will show you. Me seeing the level one after getting the triple unique after landing makes it so you can retain your momentum after landing, so you can chain your boosts. Yeah, so the boosting in the water works uh, as I told earlier in a different way than boosting on, on land. So I, I don't know if it's intentional by the developers or not, but basically, as long as you keep boosting, uh, you will not slow down on water. Regardless of what boost level you are actually uh, reaching. Awesome. Event complete. Location unlocked. Okay, the next event is uh, it's a battle race. Yeah. Battle race. This is usually the second Genesis heavy reset point Genesis in this run. So Neo Knockout is basically this is a standard race. The only difference is that Get ready. there are only five characters, three, not ten, two, and one, it follows go. different rules. We have basically three lives. Every time we get hit by an item or we fall off the track, we lose one life. If we lose all three lives, we will me. automatically lose and we'll be eliminated. Oh god. You get an ice item on this track, you don't have to use all three of them at once as each individual ice ball is a hit. No, that is so you can get three hits. During regular races though, it's definitely useful to use all three of them as it causes the character to freeze and then stop and close. Yes. Okay, that's nice. So, a good strat here is... It's not to try to eliminate all, all the, the characters one by one, but basically... Because if you see, did I hit both? I, I guess yes. it is. Yeah. You get A good start here is usually leaving the AI life for as long as possible with one life because sometimes the AI will eliminate each other. Yeah, that's true. Oh, we are finally going to take good races. Genesis Mod! Yeah, Slayer. Yeah. <laughs> Slayer has a lot of nice little neat tricks for the plane section with risk boosting. You can do a lot of nice things. Yeah, exactly. The boat section, you can see. The whole track, actually. It's just a good track. Actually, not doing the fastest track, which is going to the left of the dinosaur. Boots. 
That was not a good landing, but I had to avoid that drop. Yeah. Ruling the race. As you can see, though, with decent driving and everything, you don't have to worry about the AI once you get to a certain distance. Yeah. Even on lap one, you're just up here, just driving. The only time you want to actually care about the AI is when they start this warm item, which we didn't see yet. But I think that in graveyard we will see. Uh, I actually slowed down because, as I told you earlier, the developers didn't think it was too fast. So for some reason, that bridge that faces up, lap one and lap three, you can actually hit them. Hit it if you are too fast. Very very considerable time loss. Yeah. Be very wary of the rockets when you shoot them, because for some reason they like to bounce off the walls and coming back at you. <laughs> okay, here the especially if you do behind, be careful. For some reason, I managed to avoid. Sometimes you go through the swarm, which is quite convenient, but it is random. Okay, that was a solid one. I mean, there are other ways to break this truck anyway. Because we didn't talk about launches. Launches are their own topic, to be quite honest. <laughs> launches are taboos. Oh, no. That's bad. Yeah, I actually have to slow down here because that reach. I really don't want to get it. Just have to worry about it on laps one and three, and lap two it'll stay up. Yeah. So that's not a big issue. Event complete. Rank beat license unlocked. Okay, so the next one is going to be another traffic attack. As I told earlier, this is different from the first one. Traffic attack. A class. Because this one has Metal items, Sonic, and what's special about those items is that they're not random. There is no RNG in this track. The items are going get to be ready. set, so I know Three, which two, items I'm going to get one, from which box. Go. That's actually useful. So this is going to be a boost, boost. which I can change the drift in order to get to level 5. This is going to be a boost, and this is going to be a blow. The next one is going to be a boost, by the way. The next one is the one that I must not avoid, uh, I must get at all costs because it's going to be a super glow. Super glow. A super glow is really, really important in this section because there are a lot of yellow cars. You can just make all the cars just go away. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> yep. 
let's go for another beast. Uh, I have one. I didn't get the, the item because it's bad because that was a boost. boost. So you, you see I'm getting the level 6 just by combining the, the drift with the boost pad and the boost item. Okay. Level 6 boost style is extremely fast. Like we mentioned previously, much more common in this game to oppose the TSR. Ring race. This is another ring race in a trap that unfortunately we will not be going through with a standard race because this is a really nice track by the way. Three, two, one, go! This guy's over bad is All of these ships and obstructions and risk boost off the Yeah. You can risk boost off anything in this game, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Risk boost! The only thing we need to be careful of uh, is the, uh, the trees Check here, one. because the trees are actually do, they do have collisions and they are going to slow you down if you hit them. Unlocked. Location unlocked. Select an event. Okay. Race. Sanctuary. A class. Sanctuary falls. Falls. Metal Sun. Genesis Mod. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> anyway, wait. This is a normal race. So and this is one of the two races in which we start in game four. Get ready. Three, two, one. The other one is three bullets. Stickers unlocked. This valley is not too risk boost. Stickers unlocked. Risk boost. Risk boost. Risk boost. Risk boost. Risk boost. So you see me rolling like that. If you roll while boosting, you will actually gain a bit of a bit of distance. So that's actually a good thing. If you do it while not risk boosting, boost. you will actually slow down. Boost. So you may have to make sure you are boosting. But in the console version, before they patched it, it also worked uh, while not boosting. But you can find some videos on the internet people doing some fine trials, rolling all the way. <laughs> it's quite ridiculous. Or did I really hit someone? First nice. Double flip. Dominate. Great combo. Awesome combo. Firework. So I want to get glove as soon as possible. Because there is a section in this track in which for whatever reason these are almost 100 percent to appear. Firework. Oh, blow. Okay. Oh, blow. This path coming up is probably the tightest path in the entire game. Yeah. Very, very narrow. And no bees. Fortunately, for us, it's lucky. Nice. Ouch. Wrist boost. 
So in plain form, uh, the concept of gravity still applies. So as long as you are lying downwards, you are going to increase your speed. If you are going upwards, you are going to slow down a little bit unless you are boosting. Something that you always have to keep in mind. So bad. That's so rubbish. <laughs> Put a fish right on the stone stick. Yeah. Finish! Outstanding! First place! Event complete! Stickers unlocked! Very, very trollish. Okay, so the next one is a sprint event, which are probably one of my most favorite ones. Because these events are basically time attack. Genesis mod. You just can just breeze through it. Yeah, you just have to complete a lap under a set a, a set amount of time, and this is very very easy. You will see what I mean. The hard ghost from a uh, time attack that you race. Yeah, the A class ghost. It's actually amazing. You can see how boosting here makes wonders for your speed. I feel bad for him. Oh yeah, another thing that I didn't mention is that uh, the boost pad in this game are not like in TSR. So the boost pads are supposed to give you a level 2 boost, but in some events they will just give you a level 1. Which is fine in A class, but in S class, for example, you want to avoid them as much as possible. Most of the time, you're gonna have a boost that's higher than that. Like, yeah. Mean, oh yeah, every boost here is 2.5 seconds, regardless of the level. Okay, so we are going to do another drift challenge here. This is very easy. Should do much. But the, ne the next event, which is the only pursuit we have, is very, 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 very important. Just have to stay with me. Checkpoint. Checkpoint. We should have enough time. Checkpoint. Checkpoint. Finish. Yeah. Event complete. Location that was unlocked. Pretty solid. Just like that, it's already done. <laughs> it's like you blink in the air, this is done. Yeah. Pursuit. Okay, so the pursuit is really, really difficult. Because the tank has no RNG, it's all cycle based. But the consistency of, of this of these event is... <laughs> A really good tip for pursuit is, is try to drift into the rocket lineups, as you can obtain six rockets opposed to three every single time. So it'll be easier to take out the tank. Yeah, but you cannot have more than 9, so... If you're EF6, of course, that's not worth it. Right. Ammo. 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 Okay, that's really nice. Huh, just a minute. Yeah, yeah, that's very cool. That's a very, very consistent thing. Another cycle and then you 
will open up this corp. When the corp is open, uh, your rockets will do more damage. Ah, Okay, that's a very pretty city. Very, very solid one. Finished. Ideally, Back you can in. destroy the tank before it reaches the ledge of that, that ramp. But this is pretty solid. Yep. Twilight engine. Okay, Twilight Engine is where Eight the difficulty left. of this run starts to really, really increase. Because even if you are still in A class, I my personal feeling is that the AI really starts becoming more difficult in these tracks. The tracks one, themselves become no. more difficult and the AI become more difficult. They just go right with it. Yeah, that's so possible. It'll gimmicky and interfere with your routing as well. So there's a triple boost item pickup that we're going to try to aim for for laps one and two. Okay. So you can have a considerable lead. But sometimes the AI will try to grab it for you. In this case, we're going to get it right for them. Yeah, that's this was very lucky. Only the So you can use all the three boost items at the same time by holding the A button, the Xbox controller. This will combine them and give you a level 6 boost instead of a level 4, which lasts for way more usual. It's not this track is not more than by the way. Just go through the low forest. So yeah. You want to save the boost right before the long ramp right here, so you can just roll right through the whole entire section. Very nice. Just be wary of the barrels coming up, but then once you get through that, and we are going to get the speed. These aren't good, these lower, but way safer for a half a ton at least. Yeah, especially for the tombstones coming up. Because these two stones can be you, but their shortcut is like really worth it. So definitely you can get you there without a glow, but just for marathon speedrun sake, definitely try to grab the glow. Yeah. Even the next one, which is basically, I think, trouble again. Yeah. So this is another battle race, like the previous one, but you can actually choose to do it as a battle race or as a normal race. There is something like a 20 seconds difference, which to be honest is okay, it's quite a bit, but 
but the battle race is extremely hard and very very difficult. I had a run which was for the record base, in which I got completely destroyed here. Because if you get eliminated, of course, you have to restart the event from the beginning. So. As you battle see. races, you just have to look out three for ice items. Ice items really help out. With the three times three, you get three hits as opposed to one. But then most of the time, you just get one hit item, such as a drill or a blow fish or a fire. Or a fire. In this case, you can just drive through the hundred and five. We'll be so fast, you don't have to worry about it. So, here you see, I'm avoiding two spots on purpose. Because in that downfield section, Getting the boost pads actually slows you down. is actually rubber bedding, so even with rubber bedding, they are so far behind. It really gives you an idea how, how the developers intended some stage to be played, and how you can, you can do it so faster than we originally could. Just like the smoke section here, it's absolutely destroyed. Oh yeah. Okay, the next one is going to be another ring race. Ring race! Okay, another very nice stage, which I really enjoyed that by the way. Thank god there is not a normal race in this track. So the main point here is that you have trees, like in the previous one, but in the previous one the trees had collision. In this track the trees don't. Such a strange phenomenon. Yeah. Sumo. Sumo again, yep. Wrist boots. Wrist boots. In this track, out of all the, the ring races, it does look tempting to skip quite a few rings, but try to stay within the time loss can be taxing after a while. I mean, you can skip some of them safely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Just be careful. See, which these ones these, these to trees have no collision whatsoever. That's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> it just phase right through the branch. Oh, that was very, very solid. Okay, we are back to other slayer, uh, but this time this is a boost challenge. Uh, in boost challenge, the layout of the track does not change, so we don't have to worry about the bridge. Get ready. One, three, two. One, go! Also, there are more to sign, to spend, to sign, to 
Sometimes they're put in just random places, I feel, though. Oh, just, yeah. And just randomly put. <laughs> So that jump that I do at the transforming, if you are playing on PC, you basically don't care much, but if you are playing on console, uh, the, there is an invisible wall in the PC version at the end, so you cannot fall off the track, but in the, in the console version that wall does not exist, so you can basically get out of bounds and that is basically a time loss because the game will eventually respond to the You're going to lose a lot of time. That's something about the differences between PC and console version. It's so nice not having to worry about the bridge. And yeah, but we have to worry about the fish anyway. So. Yeah. <laughs> because the fish. Motion view uh, as actually has collision in this game, but it doesn't have collision. So, so. Sometimes a bump and see you just fly straight up. Oh, yeah. Very close. <laughs> that triple unique guy is so, so incredibly dangerous. So risky. I'm not using the boost because of course it's a safety precaution. It's always good to try and jump but roll, sometimes roll into where you want to go. Though. Yeah. The triple uniques are almost always viable. Yeah, that's true. Another sprint event, but this time it's in a stage that is just annoying. <laughs> Especially with the drop down from uh, yeah, the, the last turn is so terrible. Oh, the last turn, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, in a class, they drop from transforming is not bad. Just on S class, you have to be careful. Sometimes you actually have yeah, to slow you down with the classes. Yeah, exactly. You have to slow down. Again, something that the developers did think about. You can go so fast that you hit the ceiling there. Just like, oh, time to go. Not to mention the snow over there uh, slows you down, it's considered off-road. Uh, yeah, that's considered off-road, but off-road in this game so is easy to manage compared to the SR. Because if, as long as you're boosting, and as I told earlier, the boost lasts 2.5 seconds, so quite a long time. You don't have to worry uh, about yeah. off-road. Okay. Finally, the fun stages. <laughs> <laughs> okay, be careful. This is another track in which I really, really am not told to just let you hear the awesome music. This track has a very, very, very narrow Yeah, this shortcut track. is just so terrible. Oh, it's such so so a risky Yeah, yeah, it's really, really. This track just in general is narrow. 
they'll be everywhere. Yeah, I'm really worried about Shogun if that dies. <laughs> exactly! Oh, wow. I expect that. I knew it was just going to end like that. Because usually, usually you can get so far ahead of the AI in this track, but as long as you get in first place, because otherwise they are going to try basically everything to slow you down. In fact, this is going basically to be a final time. Sure. Right, that was nice. I don't have to worry about giving items here because the layout of this track changes in and out. Yeah. Usually you want to be very careful about where you leave items because you don't want to hit your own items. Yeah, every lap you go to like a lower level of track. So yeah. sometimes items you leave behind you just go to the lower level. Like the the By the way, this is very very unlucky. Also the good news. And here we have an invisible boost pad. For some reason there is an invisible boost pad. Very useful though. Just another convenient thing. Yeah. The next event is going to be another versus event, I think. Select an event. Yeah. Because it's the first event of Moonlight, Moonlight Path, Path so which is the last it. section of the ASP This is another Genesis versus mine. event, and usually a heavy RNG here, but Get probably ready. going to lose much time because <laughs> you really, really need. Two. Uh, very, very uh, enormous laugh to this. No. This time First there item five usually five is ice. ice. Okay. Ice. As long as we get ice, that's good for us. Try silver. I just now I threw out my Sonic. Which for some reason is speeding up. Round two. It might be I made Sonic in like five seconds. I don't know how. <laughs> no. So I want to wait. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, fall off the track. That's nice. Nice. Sorry to interrupt, just wondering like roughly how much is left. Uh for the uh, for the run? Yeah. Uh ten minutes probably. Ten minutes? Uh, no, right, sorry, you. fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes? Alright, thank you. Yeah, what? Round five. Don't relax yet. Go! Round five. Okay. 
This was definitely the time loss. Event complete. Stickers unlocked. Select an event. Drift challenge. A class. Metal Sonic. Genesis. Okay, Lock. so we are now going to the last uh, drift challenge. Oh no, it's not the last. Yeah, there's another one after that. By the way, this is the probably the most uh, challenging one. And it's the one I fear the most because I once failed the run because I failed this event. Same here. Sometimes they want you to veer off and just lines and angles that you just don't want to go. Yeah. Or that you shouldn't go. It's just like sheesh. Just like that one, like that one, you have to go like quite, quite wide just to reach. Oh, yeah. You can't go tight you really want to. Yeah, that's true. Checkpoint. Checkpoint. Stunt fail. My God. <laughs> <laughs> this was so bad. Finish. This stunt fail is automatically at one or two seconds time loss. Well, we'll still pull through it. Yeah. Select an event. Traffic attack. Okay, this is the last traffic attack. Metal Sonic. Genesis one. And we are going to do it in B class because, as I told earlier, we can afford doing one of the events in B class, and we still have five stars. And it's actually faster to do this in B class. Your car is lo uh, slower. That's for sure. And there are less waves in this class, so the event, generally speaking, comes from the system. So, there are both the item boxes here, but they are going to be completely random, like the previous event. Now, Ice and Fire would be good. Yeah, Ice is a good item here. Yeah. Be careful not to hit any cars. Get yeah, if you land on top of a car, that won't count as a hit. So. Oh my god, now this is super Finish. luck. <laughs> the luck. Yeah. Select an event. Okay, so this is going to be the last A challenge. Class. In the entire Kim game. Sonic. Genesis mod. Get ready! This is another challenging one. Anyway, the the, we are going to be very, very time constrained. This is actually honestly difficult even in any class. Checkpoint. All the mirror turns. And then sometimes with the twist of lining again. So the next two events are free, basically, because they are very, very easy. Select an event. Ring race. This is a ring race. A class. That is also. Metal Sonic. 
Genesis nothing to mine. worry much about. Uh, and it's actually interesting because you can actually see a section of the tracks that you are Get actually made. not seeing uh, in any other mode. Two, That's actually a nice one, way to explore no. the stage. This time we'll be going inside the ship. Just be careful though as the track may seem as if you can glide past the ship and go through rings. However, you cannot as there is an invisible wall there. Oh yeah, that's so the collision of some places. Sometimes they collision. Yeah. Very, very strange. Yeah. Yeah. It's all good though, 15 seconds. Oh my god. Select an event. By the way, boost race. A -class. this is another boost, the, the only Sonic. boost racing this category thing. So this is just a normal race. The only difference is that there are a lot, of, a lot more uh, boost pads and basically no, Three, no items. Two, one. It's just... Sometimes you'll see them be put in random spots again. So the AI is not going to be a problem because they are not going to shoot us in. It's the same as anything. Great combo! Which it hurts. Yeah. Okay, this is how you're supposed to put a shortcut. <laughs> I just will we get this one. I mean the reason is that you know, they don't want to bug the stage out by any people part of the tracks that you are not supposed to Because some tracks actually destroy some parts of the road or some stuff like that. So in order to avoid issues they would just respawn another part of the track. Congratulations! First place! Event complete! Select an event! Okay, this is going to be the last event. A -class. Metal Sonic. This is a normal race. In Race of Ages, this is the, num the name of the track. Very challenging track and very RNG track. So when the RNG and basically changed the entire layout of the track. So oh, yeah. yeah, I think we can 
So the point is that we want to get to first place as soon as possible. Because there's a point here in which we can basically change the layout of the track. And of course we want to get the fastest player possible. Okay, that should be good. So you can basically choose whenever you want to go to this part of the track, which you are transforming to both. Or another section of the track in which you are going to be in pain for Metasonic Why are you running out. Sometimes the AI will try to go to the other path. You try to use the good to the both side. Oh yeah. It's the passive side. Yeah, the plane, the plane section is way slower than the section, so you will lose time if for some reason the AI gets to that. Oh, okay. I missed the <laughs> focus. I mean, that's not a very... Uh, a great time loss, but it's a great time loss. Sonic don't So the only issue uh, the only issue with Metal Sonic is that uh, his collision in both forms are terrible. It tends to be quite wacky. Like you'll notice in uh, certain tracks for sure. Yeah. This one in Temple Trouble. I mean, did you try using Metal Sonic Dream Valley? It's just oh yes, terrible. yes. That jump is just terrible. He'll go under the water and then randomly just go whack on the sea. I mean, sometimes he will just go 180 degrees. Oh yeah, and turn around. Mm -hmm. That's something that happens very, very frequently. This is the last lap, so I miss coming up soon, but will not be and we cross the finish line, okay? So we can go about that. Because for some reason the time would be when we reach the okay, so and Ah, that's bad. <laughs> I always see this stuff. Oh, well, he's in the finish line. Yeah. Okay, be ready for time. Oh, this time is pretty up soon. Location unlocked. So, as soon as we unlock S class. Select an event. And expert difficulty unlocked. Time. Awesome. Yeah. GG. Yeah. One twenty twenty five. Underestimate again. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> Let's go. I didn't expect to be so good in a marathon, by the way. Because how much of world record was this one? I'm guessing more than two seconds. <laughs> no, no. This is roughly one minute of the world record, probably. Aww. I think. I. I, mean, I think. Equinox. Which... I still can't believe you got Mario Karted early <laughs> out of a world record. Yeah, that's so insane, man. Terrible. The world record right now is one hour, nineteen minutes, and twenty-eight seconds. I think somewhere around there. Yeah, it's more or less one minute away from the world record, which is it's even crazier because we can venture into one hour and eighteen. 
were like perfect everything. Definitely ten or even one sixteen or something like that. Uh, really yeah, well. that's it's totally possible to get one sixteen. That was off your best segments, right? Uh, let me check because the sum of yeah one sixteen ten seconds is the sum of best segments. So yeah, that's totally possible to get one sixteen. And if we could humanly do that, that would be insane. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I don't do you know. Have if an you... auto spin for this? Uh, no, we don't. Sorry, what? Uh, what's used for time? In-game time or? No, we don't auto use in-game timer for this game. Uh, so it's just out here. Yeah. I see. But yeah, that's uh, or... I guess the no, mini Sonic use... block in the uh, racing game block. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. That's uh, fun. Maybe you're not hearing my the credits roll. I don't know why. Okay. Okay, now you should be hearing it. Uh, it's strange. Sometimes this game bugs out during the animation, during movies and cutscenes. So the audio in, during cutscenes is simply not passing through OBS. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So that should be fixed now. Yeah, that was it was nice. I didn't expect to be. Uh, yeah, I should probably do it. I mean, we have a very small community, but it's very, very active, especially in ASRT. ESR, much more or less. But in ASRT, you should totally, uh, if you're interested in playing this game, because this game is, uh, I mean, lo a lot of the really, really good players uh, back then, that, that were back then, uh, are not playing this game anymore, but there are a lot of, of good players still, and you should totally, uh, if you're interested in playing this game, join our Discord server. I will post the link now in chat. Yeah, I'm posting the link now in chat because it's. Uh, yeah, we'll do that later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, join our server. Uh, <laughs> SFT and TSR. Yeah. Yeah, thank you everyone for, for following us for taking three hours. This was really, really nice. Yeah, especially TSR. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I hear you. Uh, yeah, I know you're right. Your you, your audio is not passing through OBS now. So if you are using your master man, we'll do it quickly. I will ju oh, okay. just try talking now. Oh, just, now just end, just end, just end the run. Just uh, do your closing words and then. Actually, no, my my mic is on OBS. I I hear myself on the feedback. Don't okay. worry. Yeah, <laughs> so it's all good. So. By the way, thank you everyone for watching. All right. See ya. See ya. Bye. See ya. One, two, three. <laughs>
Alright, where was a great Sonic racing vlog? So I am currently setting up Cousin. I will also be commentating, help with commentating for Cousin's run. And also while, I, while I'm on mic, I would just like to call out this amazing song at Climax. This is the Hard Drivers Race Remix, and you'll be hearing that during the run as well because Cousin is one of the only runners in the in the in the committee that actually plays with EA Trex enabled. So you'll be hearing that again during the run. But we'll be setting that up now. I will be also co-commentating that run, and we'll get that to. 